review and demonstration of the U Spicy LED nail lamp featuring Swarovski stones. The machine is really well cushioned in this packaging. It's a really sturdy, really firm bubble air filled packet. You also get a set of instructions, a branded pad, I'm not sure what that is used for, a power cord, an adapter, that's a power adapter, and an extra LED light with um, USB port. You Spicy have sent me this nail lamp for the purpose of this review. Um, that said, the opinions on this product are all my own and you'll see from the demonstration how this works. I can't get the light overhead to work. I've pressed all the buttons. I've checked how I've plugged it in via the USB port. There doesn't seem to be any other further on off button. I don't need the extra light in here to be honest, so I wouldn't miss this too much. But I think if it was included as part of the set, then um, you know you would expect as a consumer to have the light working. In terms of the machine and the purpose it's built for, having this extra light is not going to affect how the nails turn out in the end, so I'm not too bothered. I've left this silent, this little bit, just so you can hear the whirring of the machine itself. It just sounds like um, a very low voltage fan, like a, not, it's just a very slight hum. So I've already got my nails done in Halo Pigment. Um, I'm getting ready to go to my cousin's wedding. Um, and so I had this done to match my outfit. Um, I'm going to do one of my nails for the demonstration in this Roski Gold. Um, and I'm going to use my shellac top coat and base coat in order to set it. I'm using also a little white wax pencil. So I'm going to start by putting the base coat on my nail, very thin layer, and curing that for 60 seconds under the light. Always making sure I do my edge coat. Um, before I seal it though, I am gonna put the stones on. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but they it worked for me fine. My stones lasted and it they didn't it didn't have any problem curing. So um, if there is another way of putting these on, then please do tell me I'm not a nail technician. Um, if you're supposed to cure it first and then put put it on, I don't know, but I've done it this way. So while the um, base coat is still wet I've placed the stones on top um, and they kind of slide around because it's still wet which is good because you can then position them as you want so I'm happy with that result I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds under the lamp um, and when that's on I'm just checking that none of them fall off and they're all stuck down pretty perfect I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do this bit right too it's the top coat and I've just gone on and put them all around the stones and then before I cure that I just quickly cleaned off the tops with a bit of the alcohol um, just so that the stones are clear of any of that top coat and then cured that and once that was cured I then sprayed that with the alcohol just to remove that inhibition layer uh, and that sticky tack and there you have it this was the um, final finish I really really loved it um, and I just thought the nail lamp was very very easy to use and I thought it's quicker than my regular UV lamp if you want to see whether to buy this please find the link below thanks for watching bye just to hold it and move it the level of dirt that came off my skin you